panel, Niger Ennis, Rabia Ahmed, Miguel Paris. We mentioned at the top of the show that you were a member of the Council of American Islamic Relations. And last week, you were quoted as saying that after watching the show, I was afraid to even go to the grocery store because I wasn't sure the person next to me would be able to differentiate between fiction and reality. What are you afraid of? Well, we can't underestimate the power of images in shaping public perceptions of Islam. And I'm afraid that somebody out there can't distinguish between fact and fiction and will actually act on those attitudes and um, engage in a backlash against innocent Muslims. It's not, it's not an, uh, an, an, uh, it's a reality, it's a, it's a backlash, it's something that the American Muslim community has faced in the post 9 11 climate. And, and we know that four out of ten Americans in a Gallup poll mm -hmm. showed that they feel some prejudice directed right. at Muslims. You have your head covered. Do you think that that in and of itself is intimidating to people? Do you, have you sometimes felt in public that people are staring at you? Oh, sure, absolutely. That you think you have a weapon hidden under that absolutely. or whatever? every time I fly and travel and that's indicative of the work that we need to do if attitudes towards Islam and Muslims are so negative and there's such a prevalent misunderstanding of our religion images like uh, Muslims as terrorists in the absence of any positive or neutral images of Muslims really doesn't do anything good for our interfaith relations or the future of this country. That may be true but but let's talk about who have actually been accused of committing some of the most vicious terrorist attacks 9-11. In reality. The Madrid bombings. Aren't, no, aren't those Muslim they're, extremists? They're, they're, Last they're, time I looked they were. Yeah, they're, well, they're, they're very the reality of the situation is, is that the majority of Muslims are not terrorists. Absolutely not. And, I agree. And so it's unfair to be so unbalanced in your portrayal of Muslims. If The only but, way that they're being portrayed as are as terrorists or oppressed. But okay. you understand why that perception has taken root? I mean, you may not yes. agree with it. Yes, I do. And, and it goes back to the same argument we were having earlier about blacks and Latinos. That's it's right. a question of image. It's a question of leadership. It's a question of Muslim leaders condemning terrorism in much stronger condemn. terms than they have. And they have. That is the problem that we're having here. And they have. They, it's credibility. And I don't think I Muslim think leaders in this country go. have the credibility to be able to clear their names because they're not condemning terrorism in very strong I, I terms. I disagree. Our, organization, yeah. our yeah. organization, the leading advocacy group for American Muslims, has consistently and regularly condemned terrorism. And if you visit our website at www.care.com, you can see a list of condemnations. And I but think the, it's unfair. But people have been critical of your organization because they said, yeah, that, that you will condemn the actions of the terrorists, but that you won't make a strong condemnation that's against Hezbollah. No, that's absolutely false. We have, and it's clear, judge us by our actions and the work. Visit Visit our website, see all the condemnations. We have unequivocally condemned all forms of terrorism, whether it's done by states, individuals, or groups. And, the more, and I'm and using the, this opportunity to reiterate that point. And that's a good thing. And more and more ne of that needs to be done. Miguel hit it right, hit the nail right on the head. The fact is, is that communities, ethnic groups, as opposed to circling the wagons around what leaders do, which is tend to circle the wagons or apologize misbehavior, need to come out and condemn. And if CARE has been as forthright in condemning terrorism and Islamic the extremism, then, that, then, then, then bless them. They're doing a good work. And it's a good thing. It's important let's, for the community. Let's yeah, sure. realistic here for a moment. What mm -hmm. obligation does some television show have to balance its characters well, Paula, in a fictional uh, TV Paula, program. I, I'm a little bit biased here because I'm a huge fan and have been for several years of 24. And if you are a watcher of 24, you not only realize that there's a diversity in terms of how different ethnic groups or, in, or characters uh, within so uh, the, 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 the show. The bad guys out no. they, 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 there are all kinds of bad guys. They're black bad guys. They're white black bad guys. You had, a, you had a wasp president of the United States that essentially was a traitor and undermining his own country. Right. But, but you don't have four or ten Americans looking at Absolutely. black guys as potential terrorists. Exactly. Isn't no, there a fundamental no, difference here? No, but, 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 but exactly. look, so the Sopranos many... is not made up of a bunch of East Indians. It's made up of Italians. On because... this issue, I'm on the other side of the argument. I think 24 could do a lot more instead of uh, uh, a disclaimer. It's a fictional you know, television yeah, but, program, Yeah, but in Miguel? a fictional... Uh, and what fi impact does it really have? You can you be balanced on, in fiction. And reinforcing and it is. You can be, prejudices. You can but have Miguel, do you positive, watch it? Yeah, sometimes. You, you have to have positive characters, positive role models, Muslims, who and what? are to present make people you, look at Rabia that, that, and that, 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 that Muslim leader we were talking least. about earlier condemning should be part of the show. Definitely. Instead of a disclaimer when you go to commercials. The fact That's is, the problem. The fact if, is, you're say, and, yeah. if you're going to say that the, the show is based on reality, the reality is, is that the majority of Muslims are lawyers, they're doctors, they're teachers, they're mothers like myself, and they condemn terrorism. So all that we're saying is that, look, Fox doesn't have 
uh, it has the right to do whatever it wants. It can portray Muslims as they, as they choose. But we're appealing to their social responsibility to portray Muslims in a, a, 